Hi, my name is Walt Bednarz with Design Point Solutions, and in this video, we'll cover how you can create custom profiles for weldments. I'm going to go into SolidWorks and start a new part file. My profile is going to be based off a of sketch, so I'm going to go in and create a just a bar stock profile. I'll give it some dimensions. and then I'll close that profile. Now I want to save this file to a library location and let's take a look at that location. So I'm going to go to my tools, options, and file locations and we'll see there's a place for our weldment profiles. Here we can see the one that's stored locally on my computer, the place where those files are stored. I can also add a shared location if I want to if I'm working in a multi-user environment. So the trick here is to select our sketch first and then we're going to do a file, save as, and change our save as type. In this case it's going to be a library feature part. Now I'm going to browse to that location specified in my Tools, Options, File Location, Weldment Profiles. And that location that I'm currently using is in my Program Files, SolidWorks, Language, English, and weldment profiles. Here we can see I have an ANSI inch folder. If I look up top here, I can see my folder locations Program Files, SolidWorks Corporation, SolidWorks Language, English, weldment profiles, and ANSI inch, which matches the same folder location that we saw before. I'll create a new folder within here, and I'm going to call this rectangular bar stock. And the name I'll give the file is 3 by 4 bar stock. Now let's go ahead and use that profile. I'll create a new part file again, and we'll draw a sketch in here. Now we'll add our weldment information. We'll create a structural member and we're going to reference that rectangular bar stock that we added to SolidWorks. And now I can simply select that profile information to apply my profile to the weldment. Pretty quick and easy to do. If I want to add additional profiles, I can use the same one here, edit the dimensions, and save it as a different name within that same folder. I hope this helps when you're trying to create your own weldment profiles for SolidWorks. 